Scientists at the Yale School of Public Health have confirmed the existence of a new tick disease in the United States. This unnamed disease is one of five caused by the Borrelia family pathogen that is carried by deer ticks. Lead author on a new paper in the New England Journal of Medicine is Dr. Peter Krauss. I think people shouldn't panic about this. Uh, okay, the organism that causes this disease is Borrelia myomotoi, which is a, uh, a bacteria, a distant relative of, of the Lyme disease bacteria. And uh, it's, it's, found, it's transmitted by deer ticks, just as the Lyme disease agent is as well. The organism was first identified in ticks in Japan in 1995 by Dr. Miyamoto. Um, it was then found in ticks in Connecticut by Dr. Derlin Fish um, in 2001. So the, the, we expect this disease to be found wherever the deer tick is found and, and wherever Lyme disease is found. Um, and we would expect most cases to occur in those areas where uh, most Lyme disease cases occur, which is the Northeast and the Northern Midwest. Um, there's also evidence, uh, though, of infection in ticks in the Far West. And so I think we can expect, or I think that, that it's, it's, it's likely that we'll find that human infection is occurring in the Far West as well. In addition, in addition to the difference in, in the numbers presenting with viral-like illness and rash, um, we also found evidence that about 10% of these patients presented with relapsing fever. That is, they have fever for a few days, it gets better, it goes away maybe for a week or two, and then comes back again. And um, so the disease uh, should be suspected in patients in the, who, come in, who present with fever, uh, or a viral-like illness in the late spring, the summertime, or the early autumn. Um, and the specific diagnosis, though, requires laboratory testing. And the typical laboratory tests that one would use would be one to make a smear of the blood and to look for the organism on the smear. A second is to do a test called the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. And a third would be to do antibody testing. To prevent this and other tick-borne diseases, it is recommended to wear long sleeves and pants when walking in wooded areas, use tick repellent, and to keep your lawn closely mowed and free of leaf litter.